Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iPod Touch 1.1.2 firmware. Alright, first of all, you're going to have to have a jailbroken 1.1.1 iPod Touch. And if you don't know how to do that, watch one of my earlier videos. There's 1.1.1 to make sure everybody knows. Plug it up the computer. Okay, first thing you're going to do is go to Installer. Go over, go down to install, go down to sources, community sources, install, install, just install that, it's going to come up with something, just click OK. It's going to be refreshing your sources now, this is good. Okay. Now you're going to scroll down to Tweaks 1.1.1. Download OK2Prep, OK OctoPrep, however you'd like to pronounce it. Install, install. Says you can now jailbreak 1.1.2. Okay. Now you're going to go back home. And it should all be the same. Now. Make sure your iPod is plugged into the computer. There it is. This time, you're going to hold the Shift key in and click the Update button. You're going to go over to your 1.1.2 firmware. I will have a description in this video on how to get that. You're going to double click that. And it's going to start this again. So, yeah, this takes quite some time. So, I will be back with you when this is done. Okay, this is what it's going to do when you're done. Your iPod should just restart, leave it plugged up. I'm going to get this message, just click OK. It'll dismiss in a few seconds anyways. Okay, it's pretty much just going to turn off and turn on a couple times. Oh, there we go. So to unlock. There you go. You have regular 1.1.2, unjailbroken. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is, go back to your own screen, you're going to have to download a file, it's 1.1.2 jailbreak, I'll have it in the description of this video, it's a zip file, so you're going to right click it like you did earlier, do the extract all, I've already done that so I'm not going to do it, then you're going to get another folder, double click it, you're going to have a bunch of things. You're going to go to the Windows, double click it. Now this is going to pop up. This is perfect. Give it just a second. Sorry for the wait. It will pop up eventually. The computer is not the fastest one. Alright, here we go. Now, you're going to have this. You're going to want to click Install SSH. That's good. And then you're going to want to just click Jailbreak. And it's just going to come up. You're going to leave it alone. It doesn't matter if it says it can't connect to your iPod Touch. It's okay. It's going to come up with that. It is going to take it a minute. So I will come back to you when this is all done. Okay, guys, this is what the final step looks like. It should say, rebooting device. Your iPod Touch should have the connect to iTunes screen. It is actually going to reboot several times. It says right here, done. Your device will reboot a couple times. It'll be finished when it's over. All right. It's going to say it's in recovery mode. Don't worry about that. You can exit out of that. Here we go. You're going to think that it didn't work right here. But it actually did work. It's going to restart once more. Here we go. Keep it plugged up to your computer. Start the wait. Okay.
now. You should slide to unlock. And there you have it. You should have the installer app and open SSH. Alright, that's how you jailbreak 1.1.2. It's pretty much the exact same thing as 1.1.1. It's just helping you get to 1.1.3 or 1.1.4 if you would like that. Uh, thanks for watching our videos, guys.